Who are the most hated cyclists per country? Top 5. Galaxy has been driving responsibly for 40 years. Selfish drivers and cyclists are ruining everything for the rest of us. While most cyclists upset you in minor ways, every once in a while you'll encounter one whose behavior is actually unsafe and could endanger your life. Crucially, the researchers concluded, in line with the findings of a number of other studies, that aggressive drivers are more likely to drive in ways that are totally petrifying, which increases the chances of crashes. Hello buds, thank you for tuning in and welcome back to another edition of Cycling Right Now. It's a long time since we met. Hey, the days are being very busy right now, but we're here today for another very amazing topic for you all. When it comes to heroes, everyone's on the same page about knights, and nobody likes cyclists. Yes, it's true. There are some popular cyclists who are hated by the whole world. And in this video today, we're going to discuss all of them. We really wish that the video would be worth it for you all, so make sure before you start the video, subscribe to our channel, and comment down below what according to you can be the cause of their being hated. So, let's go ahead and move on to the video. Research that was conducted by the Department of Transport in the year 2002 revealed that attitudes towards cyclists and cycling were typically unfavorable. This was the last time that Whitehall looked particularly at this subject. It was discovered that drivers did not consider them to be valid road users. Focus groups came up with a variety of adjectives to describe them, some of which were despised, irresponsible, hazardous, arrogant, and inconvenient. You must all be wondering what the causes and reasons are that led to this attitude towards cyclists, as well as who the actual riders who have this mentality are. Friends, you won't need to worry about any of this, because we're going to cover it all in this video. And before we go any further, please take a moment to subscribe to our channel, please share your thoughts with us on the matter at hand, and comment on the segment of the video that struck your fancy the most. Alright, continuing, we will see the reasons why they are being hated on. They consider themselves to be masters of the highway way, but they obstruct traffic and ride during the night. These reasons are not anything that's set in stone, rather we consider them to be among the possibilities that underlie our feelings of animosity towards cyclists. As we move ahead to the main part of the video, which are, who are the famous cyclists from each country who are being hated? We know that you all are very excited to know about them, right everybody? Well, let us know in the comments section, and by the time we start explaining to you the names, make sure you've already subscribed to our channel. Cycling's fan phenomenon has led many people to view other sports through the lens of hatred as though they were soccer. If the cyclist you hate wins, you must undermine their success. This is especially true even in cycling, and it's particularly relevant to the sport of cycling. With this thought in mind, we've compiled a list of the cyclists who are considered to be the most hated in each country, at least according to the cycling hooligan subculture that can be found in each region. Number 1. Kenyan British Cyclist Chris Froome, he's in the lead. The rider who's won the tour a record setting four times is without a shadow of a doubt the one who the country that's hosting the circuit detests the most. After having obtained a therapeutic use authorization owing to Bellarzia immediately after the eruption of Lance Armstrong, the unexpected emergence of the White Canyon ripped the peloton apart at the seams and they are riding through the mountains of the tour. Armstrong's admission that he had used performance-enhancing drugs stoked a firestorm of sentiment, and Chris Froome, a writer from Britain, saw many parallels. The miniature sky train, much like the blue train used by the United States Postal Service, was able to scale the inclines that were the most challenging. Because his competitors looked like robots in comparison to Froome, in the purest Armstrong style, they cursed at the nice British cyclist and even threw urine in his face while he was competing in the race. Froome won the race! Given that a Frenchman has not won the Tour de France in nearly 35 years, many people have speculated that this behavior may be motivated by envy. Because no other champion has ever accomplished anything remotely similar, and the French haven't won a Tour in over 35 years. Number 2. Russia Cyclist Pavel Sivakov a young gregarious rider to whom something obviously happens in the Grand Tours, and who looks like he's going to remain a mere promise in the midst of the conflict between Russia and Ukraine, is someone a loyal supporter of Russian President Vladimir Putin might expect to be jealous of Ukrainian cyclists. Competing under Russian nationality despite being born in Italy and spending almost all of his life in France, his patriotic feelings were such that he even competed for the Russian Federation in two world championships. However, the 24-year-old has since changed his attitude. He was once a proud Russian, but since the beginning of the war, perhaps for commercial reasons, he has changed his nationality. He has now Pavlosivikov, the Frenchman, undoubtedly. Number 3. Luca Danilo De Luca of Italy 
This Italian cyclist won the Giro d'Italia and the Liege in 2007 and was ranked first in the UCI World Rankings in 2005. However, he is reviled by his countrymen not only for doping to the limit on numerous occasions and being sanctioned for life, but also for having rebuked the fans and other trans-alpine cyclists because he does not understand why they hate him. He is considered one of the biggest dopers in cycling history. Number 4. Femke van den Driesch, Belgium Look, there are plenty of riders in Belgium to dislike. From the many Marx fans who criticize Brimko Evan Nepal, to the White Van Earth fans who wish the worst on Matteo van der Poel from the neighboring country, but the trophy goes to this very young former European under-23 cyclocross champion at just 19 years old. Number 5. Since the emergence of Tadej Pogacar, the rate at which Colombian victories are occurring has slowed down significantly, and some Colombians blame the Slovaks for leading us to believe that they operate at the speed of light. Number 6. Nairo Quintana Nairo has a reputation for being Spain's most reviled athlete due to the fact that he was a member of the Spanish team Movie Star, which sided with Michael Landa, the Basque Idol, against Nara Quintana. Nairo was competing against Naira Quintana, the man who would have won the Majiro and the Avelta. The confrontation between two alpha males prompted rivers of ink among the Landista fans of the current Bahrain cyclist and the Colombian defenders of their champion. Since then, many Spaniards have only seen Quintana's shortcomings, making fun of his racing style and sometimes referring to him as Corritos or Webley for his often cautious strategies, something that makes Colombians feel infuriated. Now we've come to the final one. We really hope that each and every one of you have subscribed to our channel by now and are currently discussing your thoughts with us in the comment box below. Number 7, of course, Lance Armstrong. Even though the seven-time Tour de France winner Lance Armstrong of the USA is still beloved by many gringo cycling fans, he's still a character quite hated by the average American. In 2013, a year after confessing to doping, Armstrong was named the most hated athlete in the country, a mirror that very few can learn. Many fans hoped that Armstrong would go bankrupt, but luckily, Low Cost, who lost more than $100 million at the time, was able to recover thanks to an investment. So, here are a few examples of people who ride bicycles yet are looked down upon in a number of countries and regions across the globe. To put it more simply, we are hoping that this video was enjoyable for all of you to watch from the beginning to end and that it was helpful for you in some manner. What do you say? Hey, remember, please post your thoughts, not just about the video, but about the topic of our video. Let us know what you think about cycling. Are you a big fan? And who is your least favorite? To join the channel's mailing list, you need to click the subscribe button, and you will always stay abreast of any developments or adjustments when you click that bell icon. Hey, please take care of yourself until the next video is updated, and we'll see you then. Have a great rest of your day, and thanks for watching.